Hey there, everybody. Don Kramer with the Kramer Group at Urban Nest Realty. We are back with a weekly housing market update, so that way you've got the stats as to know what's going on in Las Vegas housing. So we got a little afternoon edition, a little shout out to Pete's. Thanks for the coffee uh, that uh, I'm able to enjoy this afternoon. So let's dive right into the numbers and see what's going on, shall we? So if we take a look at houses for sale or what we call listings, we had a 5% week over week change from last week to this week. So this week we start off with 3,653 homes available for sale in the Las Vegas Valley with 3,636 being a traditional sale. 13 of them are short sales and four of them are foreclosures. Now in the under contracts, we really didn't see much of a week over week change. So this week we start off with 3,944 homes under contract, 3,914 are traditional sales, 27 are short sales, and five, three, I'm sorry, three are foreclosures. Median home price is still holding steady for starting the second month in a row at $405,000. So really just a little bit of inventory build, but demand still holding pretty strong at a number close to 4,000 units. Now, if we take a look at the last seven days, you can see how many houses we added to the market and then those under contract. So let's take a look at those numbers. So new listings, we had 997. We also had back on market 233. So that is a grand total of 1,230 properties. Now in under contracts, we have under contract show and no show a grand total of 1,160. So while new listings and back on market are slightly outpacing under contracts, under contracts, the demand of people wanting to buy a house, put a house on, into escrow is still holding strong and is just uh, slightly behind a housing coming on the market. So again, very robust, even as we're moving into the first uh, weeks here of September and getting ready for the fall season. Now, if we dive into the next slide, which sort of breaks things down by price point, it's gonna be a little interesting to see how things are looking there. Now, in under $250,000 homes, as you can see, there's only 62 listings for sale and 109 under contract. So, you know, that inventory supply really isn't much left there in the Las Vegas Valley. Now, under 250, or from 250 to 500,000, which is our core segment, you still have 1,670 active listings, but you have 2,772 under contract. So demand is still outpacing supply. Then as we move up to 500,000 to 750 price segment, you have 943 active listings with 701 under contract. That sort of mid-luxury segment, 750 to a million, 274 active listings with 204 under contract. The million to 2 million price point, 282 homes for sale, 121 under contract. And then that upper luxury market, 195 listings for sale, 69 under contract. So as you can see, housing market is, being, is staying robust across all price points with the exceptions of the entry level points and the 250 to $500,000 segment, which demand is still outstripping supply. Now, that's been the case for a little, almost a year now, as back in November, we crossed the mark where we had more homes under contract than we did for sale. And as you can see here on this next slide, that is still the case going into September. So as you see here, the actives took the dip early in the year and then started its recovery around the last week of April. And now we're at about 3,653 homes for sale and within um, a little less than 10 percentage points of crossing uh, the under contracts. However, if you look at the under contract situation, as we started the year, we picked up demand and stayed into the 4,000s for several months. And then we had a little dip going into early August, but as you can see, we've rebounded and have been pushing around the 4,000 units uh, under contract uh, week over week. So that's uh, what's going on in the Vegas housing market. So as you can see, you know, demand is still holding steady. 
We now have more choices, certainly now, than we did uh, earlier this year, which is very good for buyers. Interest rates are still low, and we're also starting to see some pricing adjustments, especially for houses that are probably in need of rehab. Those are that have been remodeled or those that have a certain situation like a golf course lot or a lot with a view or some, some um, in case, you know, sort of X factor, I like to call it. Those are still commanding, uh, very good price points. Some cases also uh, going above uh, this price or having multiple offers. So if you have questions about buying, selling, or investing in Las Vegas real estate, do us a big favor, comment below, reach out to us, message us on one of the social media channels. We'd love to answer those questions for you. And if you like this information and like to learn more about the Las Vegas real estate market and what's going on with the new listings we have and escrows, do us a big favor. Hit the subscribe button uh, where we can keep you up to date with our latest videos. So on behalf of the Kramer Group, I'm Don Kramer with Urban S Realty, where more now than ever, your real estate experience matters. So have a great week. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.